In this flight, I take off from the shortest runway I've ever used and unintentionally balloon my landing somewhat, giving me the chance to demonstrate how you can recover from this common mistake. I'm all out of sorts today. This is Red Hill Information Golf, time 1020. I haven't flown in six weeks. I'm taking off from Red Hill, which I'm not familiar with, and I've hastily planned a new route because of weather. Red Hill Tower, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, outbound. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Red Hill Tower, pass message. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo is parked at fuel. Request uh, taxi VFR flight to Gloucester, one on board, we have Golf 1018. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, left on taxiway to Bravo 2, Squawk 3767. Left uh, to Bravo 2, Squawk 3767, Golf Oscar Romeo. The original plan was to fly to Ostend, but it was fogged in. Instead, we're going to Gloucester. I feel all of a fluster because I'm not used to flying from Red Hill. So I've got, I've got nerves aplenty at the moment. My nerves aren't being helped by Red Hill's runway 25 being only 498 metres long. On paper, it's doable, but I've not departed from such a short runway before. Do the power checks now. Being a short field takeoff, I shall use two stages of flap, get the weight off the nose wheel and rotate at about 55 knots. Golf Oscar Romeo, Bravo 2, ready for departure. Golf Oscar Romeo, after departure via Buckland, VFR. After departure via Buckland, VRP, Golf Oscar Romeo, VFR. Golf Oscar Romeo, that's correct, and line up runway 25. Line up runway 25, Golf Oscar Romeo. So if anything, there's a crosswind from the right. So this is still taxiway, this is a very short runway. P's and P's are all green. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 25, clear for takeoff, so swing's variable, three knots. Runway 25, clear for takeoff. Golf Oscar Romeo. Temperatures and pressures in the game, green, good spat, good power. One hundred feet. Okay, three hundred feet flaps away, temperatures and pressures in the green, Altima to one zero zero eight. That worked out just great. Red Hill's ATZ is partly in Gatwick's Class D controlled airspace. The upper limit of the local flying area is 1500 feet, so I stop my climb at 1400. Golf 
Take off Oscaromeo Northwest, a beam, Buckland, altitude 1,400 feet. Request frequency change, Farber radar 125, decimal 250. Take off Oscaromeo Squawk 7000, take off Farber 125, 250, bye bye. Squawk 7000, over to Farber, Gulf Oscaromeo, bye. Gulf Alpha X ray Delta India, Farber radar, report your position. Uh, just uh, next to the restricted area, uh, Romeo 101. Golf Delta and you, Roger, thank you. Very great. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, Farmer Radar, pass your message. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28, Red Hill to Gloucestershire, VFR. We are 15 miles to the east, altitude 2,200 feet, 1018. Request basic service. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 0433, basic service, QNH 1018. Uh, say again, Squawk, QNH 1018. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 0433. Squawk 0433, Golf Oscar Romeo. One thing I did realise after landing was that I hadn't turned on my headset noise cancelling. Hence why I struggled to hear the Squawk code clearly the first time and why I had a headache after I landed. So we're just uh, flying over Farborough Aerodrome here now. And uh, we're up nice and high so as not to conflict with anything going on below. Getting a radar service from Farborough Lars West. We're only on a basic service. If you're curious to know what a basic service is, then uh, you can check out my website www.johnhunt.net and look at the FAQs. It's one of those questions that people often ask me. Also on my website you can sign up for my free newsletter, view my GPS flight tracks including the track from this flight and maybe even subscribe to one of my supporter memberships. It's a lovely VFR day. A little bit uh, stressed today just because things are a bit different. Uh, we departed from Red Hill Aerodrome uh, as opposed to my normal base of Biggin Hill. We will be returning back to Biggin Hill this afternoon. Uh, why were we at Red Hill? Well, my colleague who's in the group uh, flew the aircraft to Red Hill to do some uh, flying from Red Hill and uh, asked if I minded flying from Red Hill, which I didn't. But uh, it was just a little bit more awkward than usual. Okay, there's some traffic in the circuit at uh, Blackbush here. So there's a big site here, it looks like a nuclear power station or something. Um, can't overfly that above, below 2,400 feet. We can overfly it, but we're not going to. The restricted areas I'm avoiding are actually UK Ministry of Defence sites. As I'm above 2,400 feet, I could go over them but I'd planned the flight with the dog leg in in case the cloud was lower than it is. The dog leg actually helps me avoid other sites I don't want to overfly further along the route. Right, we'll change frequency okay. to Bryce radar. Golf Oscar Romeo, uh, two miles south of beam Newbury, altitude 3,200 feet. Request the frequency change, Bryce radar 124.275. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger that, Squawk 7000, free call Bryce Lars. Squawk 7000, contact Bryce Lars, uh, free call Bryce Lars, Golf Oscar Romeo. There's a difference between being asked to contact a controller or free call them. If you're asked to contact a controller, it means that the unit has been passed your flight details. In other words, your flight has been handed over. This doesn't happen very often when flying outside controlled airspace in the UK, in my experience. A free call is when the unit you're changing frequency to isn't expecting you at all and doesn't have your flight details. Bryce Radar, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Bryce Radar, good afternoon, pass your message. Good afternoon, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28, Red Hill to Gloucestershire Airport, VFR. Two miles southwest of Beam Newbury, altitude 3,200 feet, 1018. Request basic. Golf Oscar Romeo, basic service, Squawk 3714. Basic service, Squawk 3714, Golf Oscar Romeo. 
Now today, this is not a plan A, so that's another thing that's uh, causing me a little bit of stress today. Um, the original plan was to go to Ostend. And you might think, with this weather being so wonderful as it looks now, that would be good, but uh, Ostend was pretty much fogged in this morning. Uh, so having done a bit of work planning for that, even filed a flight plan for that, and then discovering that uh, it's not flyable, uh, I had to think about where I was going to go other than that, so decided to go to uh, Gloucestershire. Been there once before. Uh, there are quite a lot of runways there, so let's hope we find the right one. We'll uh, probably do an overhead join. And it's right-hand circuits on the runways we're expecting to use today. Golf Oscar Romeo, request your next turning point. Next turning point will be Waypoint Morby, Mike Alpha Lima, Bravo Yankee, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, and will it be a visual or an IFR approach to Gloucester? And it will be visual, Golf Oscar Romeo. Yeah. Right, let's have uh, Gloucester uh, Atis. Uh, 127475. And then Gloucester Radar, 128550. While changing frequencies, I regularly look up to check for traffic. I also have to make sure I remain in visual meteorological conditions at my chosen altitude. Above 3,000 feet in Class G airspace, the distance from cloud minima is different in the UK from the minima below 3,000 feet. So as cloud approached here, I had to descend to remain compliant with visual flight rules. Good afternoon, uh, Broadsword 42 is a PA 31 CP. You'll be out so we just had to descend to below 3,000 feet so I could be this close to the cloud. Great Malvern for about uh, two hours. Uh, above 3,000 feet, I couldn't be VFR this close to the cloud. Broadsword 42, you should be absolutely fine. However, the traffic is one and one, two point plus five, QNH one and zero, Broadsword 42, Broadsword 42, a quick word here to tell you that I'm planning to take Golf Oscar Romeo to Bosnia in May with up to three other aircraft. I'll be filming the whole adventure and will share that here on YouTube when I return. My paying supporters will get access to flight previews, updates and daily blogs and vlogs from the cockpit as we actually conduct the flight. If you think you might want to follow along in real time, then consider signing up on my website. So we're gliding over there, I can see the gliders. So how far to Gloucester? 13 miles. So they could come out here, you see. The, even though the gliding site's over there, they could easily come out here. I could see gliders. These clouds are, are pretty much perfect for them, really. So keeping a good look out here. Golf Oscar Romeo, request frequency change, Gloucester approach 128.550. decimal five five zero. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, Squawk 7000, pre-call Gloucester, good day. Squawk 7000, pre-call Gloucester, Golf Oscar Romeo. And it's 1017. Gloucester approach, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo inbound. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, Gloucester Approach, uh, good afternoon, pass your message. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28, inbound from Red Hill VFR, 8.5 miles to the south, altitude 3000 feet 1017. Request joining instructions. Uh, we have uh, information lever. Golf Oscar Romeo, crosswind join them for runway 27 right hand for QFE 1014, report 3 miles. Crosswind join, runway 27, right hand, QFE 1014, report 3 miles, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, basic service. Basic service, Golf Oscar Romeo. I can see the aerodrome now. If 
five miles, we should begin a descent to uh, circuit height 1014. Tower 1229. on, radios are tuned, engine temperatures and pressures are in the green, direction indicator 340, aligned, altimeter 1014, Golf Oscar Romeo, three miles to the south. Golf Oscar Romeo, thank you for contact the tower, 122.9. 122.9, Golf Oscar Romeo. Foster Tower, Gulf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, two and a half miles to the south, positioning for a crosswind join runway 27. Gulf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Gulf Tower, report downwind. Report downwind, Gulf Oscar Romeo. Now, I want you to watch this landing very closely. See if you can spot my landing error. You're looking out for what's called the balloon. A balloon is where the aircraft starts to climb again when you begin the flare. If not recognised and rectified, it can lead to a very hard landing. Golf Oscar Romeo, downwind, 27 right hand to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, report final. Report final, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Kilo, contact approach, 128.550. 128.550, Golf Oscar Kilo. Romeo final 27 to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, Romeo 27 clear to land, wind 240 degree 6. Clear to land 27, Golf Oscar Romeo. feet. Coming down nicely, correcting nicely. RP way at 200 feet, uh, runway's clear, we have clearance to land. We're sinking a little bit. Okay, now we can drop down. That's 65, over the threshold, bring it down. So there's my balloon right there. I recognised what was happening, didn't panic, and let the aircraft sink gently back onto the runway. If it had been a major balloon, then of course I would have gone around. Paid up for my landing fee. Um, it's nice to be back at Gloucester. So I'll be honest, um, really questioning my uh, skill here as to whether I've really got it. Yeah, I mean, I managed to get here to Gloucester without any difficulty. But I was really nervous leaving Red Hill, really nervous. Just uh, 
was very, very unsettled by the new environment. And that's made me wonder whether I'm really up to this because, you know, you've got to be able to fly from different aerodromes from time to time. I don't know why I was so nervous today. Mm, yummy. Just responding to my viewers and followers. Um, Nuts Pilot is saying that he's, he's got a picture of me at Red Hill. He must have seen me this morning, asking if it was me. So uh, that often happens, and people sometimes see me on Flight Radar 24 and uh, send me little messages as well. It's quite fun. In my next video, I return to Biggin Hill. But could it be my last landing there as a based pilot? Stay tuned. Please subscribe, check out my website, and give a big yee-haw to all those who put their hands in their pockets and help support what I do. Spread the word and fly safely, my friends.